Hi there and welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about damage and healing in Roblox. Here in my workspace, I have three red walls. Those are the damage pills. So if a player takes one of those pills, it's going to cause them damage. Now when players are damaged, they can go to this healing pad to heal themselves. So first, let's take a look at how we can do the damage pill. Let's go to the first red ball here and we are going to add a script. As always, we're going to start with declaring a local variable to represent our part equals to script dot parent. Next, we're going to add a touch event. So we're going to say part dot touch colon connect to a function. And here we're going to declare a local variable, local humanoid, and we'll set that equals to, and we'll, we'll need to pass in a part B here, which is the part that is touching our, our red ball. So we're going to say part B dot parent. So we're going to the parent of part B, the part that is touching the red ball, and we're going to find a first child that is named humanoid because we want to determine if it's a player touching the part or if it's the base plate or something else is touching the part now we're gonna say if humanoid then we want to take away the humanoid's health so we're gonna say humanoid dot health minus equals and let's take away 40 health so the maximum health in the regular game is 100 we're taking away 40 health from the player and after that we can just destroy this part so we're gonna say part colon destroy okay so that's all we needed to do to build the damage pill now we just gotta replicate the script to the other two balls so I'm gonna make a copy and I'm gonna paste them into these two balls. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a script to this yellow platform so that uh, we're gonna use that as our healing pad. So I'm gonna go back to the red ball and I'm gonna copy the script and I'll paste it into the yellow platform. Now I'll go to the script in the yellow platform and I'm gonna make a change to it. So instead of taking away the health, I'm gonna give some health. So we're gonna do a plus 20 health. So each time you touch this pad, you get 20 health more. And instead of part destroy here, I'm gonna remove that, but I'm gonna put in a debouncing, debouncing process. I'm gonna do part dot can touch equals four. So um, I'm disabling the, the touch of the, the part. And then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna put in a wait. So let's wait for five seconds. That means that once you touch this part, you get 20 health, but you cannot touch it again immediately to get another 20 health. You have to wait for five seconds before you can touch the part again. So, so here I'm gonna say part dot can touch. I'm gonna set it back to true. So after five seconds, you can touch the part again to get another 20 health. All right, so let's play to test. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and eat one of these damage pill. And immediately you see my health went down. Now if I look in my workspace and look at my character, go to the um, humanoid, you would see there's a property that's that's called health, it's right here. And my health is 74 right now. And here's the max health, max health is 100. So if I go and touch another one of these red balls, I'm gonna take another damage. See my health went down to 46. 
And as you can see, my health slowly regain. It goes back up slowly. And the reason for that is whenever you start the game, there is a script here called health. It's under your character. And in this script, it's slowly that there's an infinite loop that slowly add the, the health to your character. All right, so um, where is my health now? Go back to humanoid. Max health is, where's my health? 78, 79. If I touch another one of these balls, it goes back down to 45. And now if I go and touch the, uh, the healing pad here, and you see my health went up. So now it's 74 if I touch it again. But remember, I have to wait for five seconds, right? So now my health went back to 100. Another way to give damage to the player would be to use the tick damage function. So let's go back to our red ball script. And instead of subtracting 40 from the health, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say humanoid colon tick damage. So we're using the tech damage function and we're gonna say tech damage 40. So this would be the same as subtracting 40 from the health. Let me just copy this to the other two scripts for the red balls. So this one, we're gonna change that to tech damage 40 and this one. Now the only difference between subtracting the health and tech damage function is subtracting the health is just going to subtract the health regardless whether the, the player has a force field on or not. But tech damage, if the player has a, has a force field on, tech damage function is not going to, it's not going to subtract uh, 40 from the player. It's only when the player is not protected by the force field that that's when the player is taking the damage. And you can also use the tech damage function for the um, the yellow platform where, where you're adding the health. All you do is you're replacing this with tech damage of a negative 40. So it's like minus minus 40. So it becomes a plus 40. But in this case, we want a minus 20 only because we want the, um, the path to only add 20 health at a time. Okay, let's play and take a look. Again, I'm gonna run to the the pill and I'm taking the damage. As you can see, it's going down. One more would kill me. <gasps> there it goes, because uh, each pill takes away 40 health. So three times 40 would take away 120 and and if my health goes to zero, I die. So let's try it again. I won't take all three pills this time. So I'm just gonna take two. So I'm taking one pill, two pills. Now I gotta go to my healing pad and there it goes. I'm gonna wait for another five seconds and I'll jump back on it. And there it is. So that's how you build a damaged pill and a healing pad in Roblox. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.